All right, guys, let's fire up a street glide. Good morning, guys. This is my first demo ride of the day. It's 2020 model, model rides today. It's October 2019. I figured I'd start the day out on a street glide. My name's Dave. I ride a Dyna FXDL low rider. Okay, so 2020 Street Glide. Um, the new thing this year is RDRS. Not really going to be able to test that out on a dealer demo ride. Cornering ABS, traction control. All that sort of thing. Hill hold, pretty cool. As somebody who rides a Dyna, I just wanted to get on a touring bike today and feel what the difference is like. I've ridden touring bikes before, but it's been a little while. some grapple in the road there this um, man it's so much different than the Dyna the Milwaukee 8 is really smooth I mean super smooth compared to what I'm used to the vibration level is a lot less and you don't really I don't really feel the no noticeable difference in the weight of the bike or anything I mean, obviously it's not going to corner like a Dyna. It's not going to go tearing it up in the twisties, let's put it that way. This would be a great bike to commute to work on. I commute on my Dyna, and one issue I have, especially this time of year, is cold. And on the street glide, my hands are behind this fairing a little more. Which is great. The seat is definitely a lot, lot more comfortable than on my bike. And the suspension just seems to absorb bumps a lot better what it's supposed to do. Really nice ride though. I'll definitely lean this puppy in. If you really want to buy one of these bikes. I mean, if you really want to demo ride one, it's it's nice to ride on fleet day when they have all the different bikes out and you can ride a bunch of different stuff. But if you're really thinking about buying one, you want to go out on your own on a variety of different roads and, and really be able to open it up on the highway. Usually in this ride, they have a little section on the highway and uh, we're fortunate if we get above 50 or 55 because everybody's just putzing along. It's a little embarrassing. We're all putzing along in formation and Priuses are going by us doing 80. It takes turns really nice, you know, even at low speed, it just feels very stable. What else can I say about the Street Glide? I mean, Harley's most popular bike, I guess, right? This one's the special, it's a 114. <clears throat> Got a lot of fancy schmancy stuff here on the console. TPMS, tire monitoring, tire pressure monitoring system. 
Oh, this poor baby is just like, please twist the throttle. Ride me. All right, some dead animals to dodge. While these are great on the highway and, you know, nice on this back road here. It's, it's definitely a different ride than on a Dyna or on the Sportster that I had before that. Not as sporty. I mean, you're not going to ride it the same way. So it's a big decision to, to go to a touring bike. I mean, I'm not going to be touring per se. But they are super comfortable bikes, really nicely equipped. I rode down here this morning, it was about 45 degrees. And when you do, yeah, it's an hour ride down here. When you do long distances on a bike, the ride quality definitely affects you physically. If the bike is loud and vibrating and bumpy and you're uncomfortable, you will feel more fatigued, obviously. And the idea behind bikes like the Street Glide is to really smooth out the riding experience so that you don't have a lot of fatigue and so that you can get on one of these things and ride for literally hundreds of miles. And still feel good. I did 120 miles the other day on my Dyna. I was pretty tired when I was done, you know. <clears throat> and then the other angle is, do you want to go out riding on something as refined as a street glide? Or do you want something that's more raw feeling? I mean, the sports sir I had was definitely more raw. Um, I used to say that when you rode that motorcycle, you knew you were riding a motorcycle. And, uh, you know, you, you felt it. <laughs> yeah, every little control on this bike just has that feeling of refinement to it. When you shift, when you hit the signal indicators, all that stuff. And that's, you know, especially it being a new 2020 bike, it's going to feel that way. I'm not sure how it would feel after four or five years of being ridden, but it definitely feels great from the factory. Yeah, this 114 has some zip, and we hit 70 miles an hour there without even, you know, I think I'm at like eighth throttle. Floorboards feel really good. Um, some of these bikes have had the heel shifter, and I believe Harley removed that from all of them starting this year. It's like an option now. I never cared for it, um, but it feels nice just having the front toe shifter only. Another thing that's nice on a bike like this is you have the wind deflection. I mean, this windshield is six inches before lower than my eyes, <clears throat> but I don't feel any head buffeting at all. It really feels great. And this tractor trailer going by, I, you know, would feel a lot of buffeting on my bike when I pass a tractor trailer or it passes me. 
but there's a lot less of that on uh, a bike like this. But this bike is so smooth. I could see where I would feel a lot less fatigue. Not that I feel a lot to begin with. But another thing is that when I jump on the highway, you know, my Dyna is a six speed, the 103 engine. Its suspension is tolerable. It's better than my Sportster was, even with aftermarket suspension on the Sportster. <clears throat> but the highway can be pretty, uh, not bumpy, but just, you know, pretty rough. The engine's wailing away and everything. But this, this bike is so designed for the highway. It just really smooths out the road. So that's pretty much what I got today on the street glide. Not sure if this video answered any questions, but hopefully it was informative.